Distinguished Senators elect, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today, the 10th of June, 11th of June, 2019, gathered in the chambers here for the election of the Senate President were 107 senators elect. I'm happy to report that the 107 senators casted their votes. And at the end of the voting, this is the result. Senator, senator elect Ahmed Ibrahim Lawal, 79 votes. Senator elect Mohamed Ali Ndume, 28 votes. Total votes, no, uh, total votes cast 107. On the strength of this, therefore, it is my pleasure to announce that Senator, Ahmed, Senator elect Ahmed Ibrahim Lawa, having scored the highest votes of the total number of votes cast, is hereby returned as duly elected President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I want to announce that please uh, could the tellers come with him to the podium. Oath of Allegiance. I, I, Ahmad Ibrahim Lawan, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and that I will preserve, and that I will preserve, protect. Protect and defend the constitution and defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. Oath of the President of the Senate. I, I, Ahmad Ibrahim Lawan, do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as the president of the Senate. That as the president of the Senate. I will perform my functions. I will perform my functions honestly. Honestly. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Faithfully. Faithfully. In accordance with the Constitution. In accordance with the Constitution. Of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the law. And the law. And the rules of the Senate. And the rules of the Senate. And always in the interest of the sovereignty. And always in the interest of the sovereignty. Integrity. Integrity. Solidarity. Solidarity. Well-being. Well-being. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will strive. That I will strive. To preserve. To preserve. The fundamental objectives. The fundamental objectives. And directive principles. And directive principles. Of state 
this policy of step policy contains, contains in the constitution of the federal the republic constitution of, of the federal republic of nigeria and that i will preserve and that i will preserve protect protect and defend the constitution and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria, of the federal republic of nigeria and that i will abide by the code of conduct and that i will abide by the code of conduct contained contained in the fifth schedule in the fifth schedule to the constitution of the federal republic the constitution of, of the federal republic of nigeria so help me god so help me god Senator Ahmed Lawan, having been sworn in, has now moved from being the senator-elect to the senator indeed, and moved swiftly to be the president of the Senate. And that election has just been concluded. He emerged as president of the Senate with 79 votes as against the other senator elect who contested against him, Senator Dume Aliun Dume, who pulled 28 votes. Um, with this proceeding now, he's um, putting his name and signing on the dotted lines. He's now going to take his seat as the president of the Senate to watch the coming election to determine who emerges as the deputy president of the Senate. It's been a very interesting one right from when this event kicked off by uh, 10 a.m. this morning. Everybody was anticipating what will happen, who will emerge. Well, those questions have been answered now. The ninth Senate now have a president of the Senate. And it's going to be interesting to see if the, um, the election for the uh, deputy president of the Senate uh, follows the same pattern. Uh, we have a situation where uh, the uh, president of the Senate uh, has already indicated who his choice for the seat will be, uh, the, the Senator Omar Agege, who is also that of the party. Is, uh, party members of the All Progressive Congress have been told to vote for him. So right now we have the Senate President uh, collecting the gavel and the rules, the standing orders of the Senate as he proceeds to take office. Distinguished Senators elect, we have on the seat the President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I cannot therefore hit the gavel any longer, so please listen attentively as we proceed to the nomination and election of the Deputy Senate President. The procedure is essentially the same 
and I will invite a senator elect to nominate another senator elect to take the chair as deputy president of the Senate.